All right, so hello everybody and welcome to this NASCAR Racing 2003 tutorial about how to install Reshade and how to get basically my presets uh, working and set up. So I'm going to skip how to install NASCAR Racing 2003 since the web is already full of tutorials. So I do recommend to, to jump into Reddit and check the, the first post here. There are lots of uh, yeah, lots of documentation and links where to get the game, how to install it, how to set all the graphics, how to tweak everything. And here at point eight, there is also this this link, which is already open here, uh, where you can learn how to patch the game, how to get it working on Windows 10, and how to update props, how to get the new caps, new series, where to get reshade, but we are, we are going through that later. And last but not least, there's a really pretty clear and straightforward guide on how to set all the NVIDIA settings for your graphic card. I, I don't have an AMD, but I do believe that it would be pretty, pretty much the same. So this is also really interesting because you can improve really the graphics of NASCAR Racing 2003 uh, playing with these parameters. I assume that you have your game up and running without issues and problems. Uh, once you've done that, you need to download Reshade. Just go to reshade.me, download. Actually, the version is the 5.9.1. It's perfect. Download it and save somewhere on your on your desktop or whatever you prefer. Let's go through the reshade installation. Here you have to give to reshade the, the path of your NASCA racing installation folder. All right, go to next. Here, just go with Vulkan. This would allow reshade uh, to I would say to work better on NASCAR Racing 2003 since uh, it's a pretty old game and uh, there are some shaders, some reshade effects that does not compile correctly using uh, DirectX 9. So I would say uh, to go with Vulkan. Go to next here. Yeah, you should select the one preset uh, from where reshade can detect all the, um, the shaders that you need to install. So here you can find the link to my uh, reshade preset. So get here, uh, just at zero, get it, and download it, and you are good to go. So here, two folders, the preset folder and the extras folder. So what you need now is to copy all the all this content uh, somewhere uh, it doesn't matter if it's your uh, NASCAR racing folder or whatever uh, let's make a preset folder here all right so now what you need to do is to um, it's to select one of these uh, presets and give it to uh, to reshade Next, all right, now it's going to download all the shaders. All right, to get a uh, reshade working with NASCAR Racing, what you need to do is to download uh, a wrapper from DirectX uh, 8 to DirectX 9, and then an additional wrapper from DirectX 9 to the Vulkan libraries. You can also, I just found this this morning, uh, there is also another wrapper. I never tried this. I'm not going to, to test this right now, but yeah, this could be a good alternative basically. So here is the link, but I'm going to, to use the DLL that I already used in the past. First off, you need to get this DLL. You can find all the links here in the documentation. So this is the, the first DirectX 8 to 9 uh, wrapper. And the second link uh, links to DirectX 9 to Vulkan uh, libraries. So first off, click here, get this one. Windows may tell you that it's not a safe file, but doesn't matter, just keep it. Uh, yeah, keep it anyway. All right, so 
copy it uh, from your yeah, download folder or whenever you have downloaded it into your NASCAR Racing 2003 install folder. Uh, just override existing files if any, just override if asked. Um, okay, this is the wrapper to DirectX 9. Now we need the wrapper from DirectX 9 to, to Vulkan. Click the second link. All right, scroll down till you get this file. Download it and open it with. Uh, I, I I would recommend to use like Seven Zip or yeah any other zip extractor tool. Uh, you get this. Double click here. You go through from the X thirty two uh, folder. Just select the first. Ignore the others. You don't really need them. Override and that's it. And the next step is going to um, to install. Uh, the Marty McFly or Pascal Gilker or Gilker, I don't know the exact pronunciation. Uh, yeah, the shader of this guy that are really super powerful. They enable ray tracing, uh, ambient occlusion, and a lot of other um, yeah other effects that are really required by my my presets. If you want to get the output that you can see in my in my screenshots, there's only one downside in this that these shaders are not for free you have to become a supporter and you have to to subscribe for this tier because otherwise with this one you will not get the chance to download shaders so you need to do this yeah i know it's five bucks uh, you can do just once so you can sign pay this become patreon supporter download whatever you need and then you can also at the end of the month uh, can't before it's going to be renewed um, so yeah once you become a supporter and I am uh, you what you need to do is to link your your account with your discord you can find also a lot of stuff about reshade uh, about other um, yeah, anything related to reshade shaders and here there are really a lot of skilled guys uh, you can ask questions and you are sure that you get answer from yeah really professional and experienced people uh, so from here from the downloads level one month by month you get new versions of these shaders so what you need to do is to get the latest one and i'm using rtgi from this version and not from this one rtgi is the ray tracing shader that's why because i experienced some weird uh, yeah, performance is uh, degradation, degradation, um, a lower FPS. So basically on my hand, uh, uh, this version works better, but the rest of the shaders come from here. So what, what you are going to do, I, I already downloaded them. So I have them here. So what you need to do is to download First, the 2306 version, get everything, copy these two folders, go back to your NASCAR Racing installation folder, reshade shaders, Control V, and everything is now copied here. So we have Immerse and we have Marty's mod, yeah, perfect. All right, everything is here. Uh, the next step, is to go into the previous version go into shaders and just copy this one so just copy it here override so now i'm using the latest version of its shaders except for rtgi which is yeah a couple of version back but it definitely works the same and even with better performances on my on my site so yeah the next step then would be go into extras so into extras you will find the shaders folder and textures into shader there is this shader here it's basically a copy of the um, ambient like shader with just a couple of modification of changes i did on my side and this is needed to um, simulate um, scratches and uh, dirt on, on the camera for the roof camera and the cockpit camera. Copy this 
into back into our shaders folder and second thing you have textures so these two textures are going to copy into textures so just drag and drop them here and there is one last thing to do uh, to copy this loot uh, lookup table content into the Nazca resin reshape shaders textures folder all right uh, it's really important this mask here so this is really needed to to mask the cockpit and prevent that some effects applied to the track are going to bleed inside the cockpit um, for, for example the ambient occlusion you have ambient occlusion on the track on the race track on track props uh, and without this mask you will see them bleeding inside the, the cockpit uh, here you see lute 21 22 and 97 so basically according to which cup you're using you need to copy the corresponding files uh, of course if you are on different cups you need to create your own mask uh, yeah i'm sorry i cannot make them all uh, if you have issues to make your own mask just ping me i i try to make it for you so this basically is the this is the mask for the 97 cockpit and now let's fire nascar racing up all right everything is cool the screenshots ones usually are supposed not to be used in real time so not while you're driving basically but just to take screenshots they are pretty much the same uh, the one the two and the three the the main difference is just about the camera focal the f-stop so the, the shutter number and um, yeah and the and the length basically i i use these ones when i watch replays the main difference is just in colors and contrast and when i drag the car i pick one of these what you need to do is to yeah just click the second link this um, Kraka Cola Classic. Just scroll down, get this file, and uh, open it with uh, 7 zip or what you prefer, x32, and then drag and drop, copy basically this DLL into the NASCAR Racing folder. Override, and you can delete the the second file this was the previous wrapper so this is no more needed and we only need this one usually the default button to, to toggle to to show the overlay is the home button so just pushing home you can show and hide the, the reshade overlay uh, here you can set the button to disable the effects. Here I set the minus key. And if you have reshade off, you see that it's going to warn you. I also suggest you to set a performance mode toggle button. This lets you enable or disable the performance mode. It's important. Also, this is a note that I wrote here in the instructions. Make sure that this uh, checkbox is off this is on and these two or anyway the second one is on they must be on otherwise um, reshade is not going to catch the the z buffer and you will see and you will get some issues with um, like the ambient occlusion or retracing because they are based on the z depth buffer so if the z depth buffer is wrongly calculated then you will you will not get the, the effect working fine so if i'm going to add um, display depth effect moving it to the top of your stack uh, allows you to allows you to double check if the z buffer is correctly selected here you can select the the buffer you wanna 
you want to display so normal map boat and the depth map so this is what you should get if you don't get this exactly what you're seeing here right now you need to play with these buffers and pick the right one but usually uh usually it's it's always the second one the, the third one is the mirror yeah you see so every time you have some 3d content going on the the game engine create a different buffer uh, the thing is that the the engine uh, itself is able to combine all these buffers together and show you the final output but reshade can actually work with just one buffer at a time so yeah so you need to select the second one and always make sure anytime you fire up nascar racing that this is still selected what you should do is also to 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 choose a not key for to switch between the next and the previous preset so this allows you to to quickly move through them and uh, rather than opening all the time the the reshade uh, ui and then manually uh, go through them um, yeah you can also select choose a shortcut for screenshots select the screenshot path and uh, yeah all, all the other options are, are pretty straightforward so I'm, I'm not going through them okay guys uh, I believe that my tutorial ends here I hope that it can help you and yeah it was my very first tutorial ever so I hope that it came out out pretty decent and not much boring if you have any question please leave me a comment or drop down some lines here or in the reddit thread about my preset and uh, what else have fun and until then have a good racing bye now bye bye